All right, welcome back. Um, quick video here. I was uh, went inside and grabbed some more airline and uh, went ahead and grabbed the air valves. Uh, good thing about selling this stuff is you have usually have some in stock for your own projects. So um, I'm using Jetronic valves. Uh, I like their valves over your Zykoi um, just because of the pulse feature that they have. Um, but other than that, I mean, Zykoi is, is fine as well. That's kind of the other alternative right now. Um, I sell both, but, and they're about the same. The only difference, I know like Zykoi valves, you have a lower PSI um, that you have to stick to. Uh, and like I said, no pulse function, which is what I wanted uh, for this. I like the pulse because I can, I can put like a um, six or five, however many seconds you want, honestly, uh, to where it builds up pressure. So that way your doors don't, your doors don't slam. They don't slam shut. You know, they kind of, they kind of do more of a scale closing, you know, um, especially on like gear doors. I just, it just seems like a bad way to do things when they're slamming against, uh, the frame. And a lot of times, you know, these things, they don't get full stroke before they're hitting something, so it gets a lot of impact. Um, so it's just nice to have that nice, slow, more scale movement um, on the valve. So I've got a brake valve here. This is their their low loss brake valve. Um, one for the gear, one for the gear doors. This is the lock. It's a one-way valve. These are dual. Um, brake's kind of like a, a one-way, but it has the pulse effect. Uh, this is a one-way. Um, and I guess you could use it for a brake as well. Um, but this is just going to be strictly to unlock, uh, the, the gear. And then this is for the bottom bay and this is for the side bay. This is a change from the last one. Last one I, did, I just had all three bays on one, but this time I'm adding a second one. That way I can do the side ones, uh, you know, by themselves. And then the most Annoying to program in the world. Gear door, fail safe, um, controller. They're great, man. They work great. It just takes forever. I mean, every time I set one up, it takes me a minute uh, just to kind of watch it and just understand the logic of how it works. Um, it seems to be backwards than like my brain, you know, and from what I hear, most everybody else's. <laughs> But I mean, it, once you figure it out, it's really a great um, little telemetry. I mean, it has telemetry. Uh, it's a fail safe. It's a it's a gear door sequencer, uh, and uh, all on one. You know, so it's got some really nice features. You can do um, anything with this little guy. It doesn't weigh a lot. Very small uh, units. Uh, I don't use. A pressure gauge anymore. I just use this, and I, I get the, the the pressure reading on my my radio telemetry. So, and I don't use it nowhere near the capacity that you could because I'm using one port for gear, the other port for a gear door, and um, I can't remember if I plugged in the lock to this as as well, but I think. I can't remember if I did or not, or if I just did it in the radio, but I'll have to see if I plug the actual, uh, the unlock uh, one-way valve into this. So you could essentially do one gear with one, two, three, four, four other gear doors and have them do anything of a combination, you know, doors open, gear down, doors close, and then opposite, you know, doors open, gear up, doors close kind of thing. And then you've got a, the bottom one here, port is for your terminal. And the next one up is for your signal. And then if you're gonna do telemetry, you plug it in port five. So essentially with telemetry, you're gonna get um, one gear and three different uh, possible uh, gear door. So, but that's what I'm looking at. Uh, I finished running the airlines for the for the for the wing, uh, which is just a gear door, because the gear door is attached to the wing. So I just did, like I did these, I ran everything under here. 
So the lines are all going forward underneath this, you know. Um, this is, they're not supposed to be a gap here because that's why, like I mentioned before, these are glued in wrong. But since there is, it makes a nice spot to run stuff. But I much rather have them lower. But yeah, they just run over to the sides. They come out here. And this is where I'll plug in these guys for the wings. So you'll have uh, two air connections and a servo here because the leading edge flap. And then back here, you'll have the lights and the flap servo connection. It just sucks because, I mean, I guess I could run a lead all the way, but since I'm having to plug something in back here anyways, um, you know, it's just how it works. Uh, I might look at that a little bit, you know, if I can get a, get a servo, because the problem is I don't think I can get a servo lead from the flap up to where the front um, uh, servo actually comes out but i'll look at that and if i can you know this is you know just to kind of like a let me find it here so this the lighting harness they have so you have one side is like the female and then there's another that's in the wing the the male end is in the wing so you essentially you could just make these like hard mount here you know on the fuselage and then hard mount on the wing, and then as you slide the wing on, they just connect. So if I can do that on the rear, I might do that, and then just have everything servo-wise up here, but it didn't work out that way last time. Um, so it's, it's not a huge deal, either way. So, but uh, yeah, I tried to adjust this uh, air cylinder like I talked about in the, uh, in the last one to get this to not hit here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm, I could grind this down. I don't wanna do that, it's gonna make it look ugly. So what, I may, I'm, what I'm gonna probably do is I'm just gonna glue on, get some clear tubing, heat it up, flatten it out, trim it to where it, it kind of sits along this and then glue it on. That way when the gear comes up, it hits that and it doesn't damage the wheel. Um, Cause it's already got some nicks where it's hitting the metal. So metal on metal contact, this side doesn't do that. So I don't know. I don't know if this is off, is set wrong or what, um, but I, I screwed this all the way in, uh, the, the ball in, and it still hits. I tried the whole, um, yeah, because you have to shorten it because it's as short as it can and it still hits if you go, if you, unscrew the ball and give it a longer length that makes it hit even more so but little things um i did find that this bracket here that holds the the inner gear door on on the other side the this part of it on the on the, it's up here they on the other side it's glued it's not glued flush like this one it is actually sitting on this beam glued like that they didn't get it seated when they glued it. It still works, but that's just another example. I don't know if I can show you that. Um, but you can, yeah, there you go. You can see how it's sitting right, that area right there, that should be flush on the skin, but it's not, it's angled up like this. Instead of being flush on the skin, it's angled up, glued at the back, and then I think it has some glue at the top where it's running on the back side of this beam, but, you know, that's just to show you, you know, people are, people have asked about the quality issues and um, I think the build and the pictures and what I show you guys should speak for itself. Um, and wait a minute, I might have a missing screw here. No, okay, so there's no screw on this side either. Looks like they, yeah, there's no screw there. So, all right, well, that's all I wanted to show you guys. Just kind of give you kind of a rundown on my Jetronic setup. And those are all going to be um, sitting in this area right here. So this is the nose. Uh, and I'm going to sit all the air, um, air valves uh, right here. Like I did the last one and then the tray will cover that. Um, if I can get 
the power system under here too. I would like to do that because I, I just want to cover everything up. You know, I'm sick of, I'm over the days of showing off all the bling. Um, so I will probably put um, the, if, if the power system will go here, then I'll put the valves up here because I had the valves up here before um, just to help with CG. So all that stuff's going to be under, um, mounted in this area here and then batteries will be there and in, 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 in here as well. So uh, this will be going on next. So you guys have a good one and I'm going to get back at it. Uh, I might go ahead and add the, the tail on here and kind of get the get the the wiring ran uh, to the nose and kind of just start kind of laying out where I'm going to put my my turbine stuff uh, because like I said I'm not putting the tanks in until last uh, I'll have everything ran and then it'll just be hey put them in and mount them because once they're in there they're in there but I, I do plan to make um, the tanks a little bit easier to remove. I think last time I used Velcro and, or maybe shoe goop. Um, this time I'm going to glue in some brackets. That way it makes it easy to get out for maintenance. Uh, because the Tomcat over there, um, it has a busted fuel tank, fuel tank, and it's going to be a nightmare. I said I would sell it before I ever took that nose off. But, you know, it's such an awesome jet. Uh, so I'm gonna, that's one of the things I gotta work on before the flying season is get that. I'm hoping it's one of the saddle tanks that I can get to by taking the swing wing mechanism out. Uh, and if that's the case, life will be simple and easy. Uh, if not, the whole nose will have to come off and that main tank will have to come out because I don't know which one's busted or leaking or hopefully it's just a, a, an actual fuel line so but it's bad enough that I can't like the fuel just literally pours out of the tank into the end of the fuselage so it's got to get fixed so and I also got to fix the landing gear on the a7 which I've already talked about because um, the like I said they glued the, the landing gear bulkhead in on top of peel ply so it just naturally popped loose so anyways you guys have a good one and I'm gonna get back at it Cheers.